Hello, I'm Alec Bath, STM32 Microcontroller Applications Engineer with ST. Today I want to talk to you about a super useful program and debug tool, and that is the Tag Connect Cable and Adapter System. The idea here is that you place a small footprint on your PCB, and the gold-plated bed of nails type spring connectors lined by these three guide pins connect your debugger to your embedded target. Zero bill of material cost outside of a bit of PCB real estate. Now there are two different styles here, the standard version or the so-called no-legged version. Both styles have the three guide pins for alignment. However, the standard version adds four plastic clips which temporarily secure the cable to the board like so, typically for debugging. So you don't have to sit there trying to set breakpoints with one hand, holding the cable down with the other hand, looking like a jerk. Although Tag Connect sells lots of different variants, we're going to focus on the four flavors particularly useful for the STM32. That is the six pin standard or six pin no legged, or the 10 pin standard or 10 pin no legged. Which one to choose? Well, if you're looking to debug and you have the small amount of extra PCB real estate, I would recommend the standard version. That's going to add four additional mounting holes on the PCB. Also, if you'd like to pull features off the board, like an extra GPIO to trigger a scope, super useful for debugging, or a COM port to a terminal window for printf style debugging, you may want to look at the 10 pin. We'll detail some different scenarios. To get started, let's head on over to tag-connect.com. Click on products. We're going to look at the 10-pin TC2050 family and the 6-pin TC2030 family. For the 10-pin with legs for debugging, this is the ideal choice, TC2050-IDC. The no-legged version is here, TC2050-IDC dash NL for no legs. For the six pin devices it has a similar part number TC2030 dash IDC or TC2030 dash IDC dash NL. Their website's a little confusing there's lots of different options here but if you noodle around a bit you'll find the one you're looking for. Go ahead click on the datasheet link and you'll find the footprint information, lots of good notes such as not to add solder paste to the contact pads, pinout information to the IDC six pin header, and some layout problems to avoid. Another thing you'll probably want to get is an adapter. Either the ARM 20 pin to TC2030 or the ARM to 2050 adapter. This is a small adapter board that will allow you to connect to standard ARM-based debuggers such as the ST-Link. Pinout information is here. And here's a useful tidbit. If your debugger supports driving the 5 volts out of pin 19, you can use this to power your target via pin 5 of the cable. Just solder this jumper shown here to the plus 5 volt side and you can use this to power the regulator on your board. Some of the other connections used for serial wire debug are the VCC sense line, serial wire data I.O., ground, clock, and the reset line. Optionally for the Cortex M3 and M4 based STM32 devices you can connect the SWO line for serial wire viewer debug functionality. You also have pins 7, 8, and 9 which are not used in serial wire debug mode. These can be used for things like triggering your scope, an extra GPIO, bringing a UART out of your target for printf style debugging via a virtual COM port on the ST-Link, or other things. With our no-legged TC2030 version we have here, we simply plug onto the board, connect to our debugger or ST-Link utility. Program our board. 
And away we go. Here's a design I did using the TC2050, my favorite 10 pin with legs. I have my serial wire debug connections. I'm able to power the target via the 5 volts. And I have a UART connection for printf style debugging and a GPIO brought out. Now you may want to check the data sheet of your STM32 to use this extra I.O. pin. Associate it with a, something like a timer or a DAC output, something useful for debug. I'll also show you how I used a Nucleo ST-Link to build a super debugger for this application. Now in addition to the standard ST-Link, the Nucleo board also has a snappable ST-Link debugger on the top that you can break off and use in your own target application. In addition to that, it also includes a virtual COM port. So you can take the 1x6 header, connect to your debug connection, serial wire, and the two, the C and 3 pins, and connect to a UART on your target and do printf style debugging. It's very cool. Here we have our target, our tag connect cable, an ST link from the Nucleo board. We have a scope trigger, it's powered, and we have a UART connection to our virtual COM port on the ST link. I hope I made your debug life a little bit easier and saved you a little bit of money. Thanks for designing in with STM32. We'll see you next time.